My name's Kyle Long, and my wife and our two kids uh, attend the Kesslinger campus, and we've been coming here for about three years. So my kids really do love this church, and prior to coming to Chapel Street, we bounced around at a, a lot of different churches in the area, smaller churches, that's really what I thought I wanted. And then we really quickly realized this truly does feel like a small church. My name is Debbie, and my family and I have been attending the Kesslinger campus about 11 years. When people ask me, what do I like about Chapel Street? I tell them, you know, even though I'm out here, out we live out in Sycamore and this is in Geneva, I say a church alive is worth the drive. I just told someone that the other day. Stealing a phrase from actually Pastor Jeff last Sunday is, I just feel life here. And my heart really came to just love this church and it just feels like home. And there is just a life here that's kind of hard to talk about. You just kind of experience it. One of the things I'm most thankful of being part of Chapel Street is all of the different ministries that it offers. My wife Bridget, uh, she was the one that got more involved in the beginning. So she was involved with Moms Together, uh, was involved with the women's Bible studies. And so she really got plugged into that, started meeting with uh, other women in the church. The women's Bible study really impacted my life because it was the first thing I joined 11 years ago when coming to this church. If you want to get connected really quickly, join a women's Bible study group. I'm a part of a team group that meets every Friday morning, so rain or shine, snow on the ground, uh, even through holiday seasons, we, we meet every Friday. And so that's just a huge rhythm of my life. I just know that despite the craziness and hecticness and just whatever you experience in a week, that I'm just really grounded those, those Friday mornings and just doing life with other guys. And I've experienced some just personal breakthrough in my own life, and I just need my other brothers in Christ. I was serving in the nursery. It's, it's, it's a beautiful place to be on Sunday mornings. And these just sweet little faces coming in. Some of them nervous for the first time. Some of them just, they're right at home and they go straight to the choo-choo trains or the dolls or whatever. Serving along the youth, well, it blesses me in many ways. But first of all, the energy they have is contagious. And just that their, their servant hearts is contagious. You know, I think back about uh, Proverbs, iron sharpens iron, so does man on demand. So when I first started coming to Chapel Street, one of the big questions that I had was, how does our church steward its finances and the resources as a financially minded person, as a CPA, and just kind of a finance nerd that was important to me is, are the resources being stewarded well? And I, being able to ask our, our leaders on how certain things were used and the church's take on certain things financially and, and uh, really brought me just encouragement in knowing that this is a place that I want to be personally invested in financially and support this place because I know it's being used well. One of the things that I'm very thankful for Chapel Street is the youth groups that they've created. You know, 11 plus years ago, our son was entering into high school and we were looking it's switching to a church that had something more for the youth. And even today, fast forward 11 years later, this is still going on here at Chapel Street. And thanks be to God for that. Oh, it has blessed me. And now our son, who's out of college, he's now active in the church. So I literally have sat down and had coffee with each of our pastors and, and it was really awesome. And it just really, wow, makes this place feel very, very authentic, very genuine, and knowing that I see our senior leaders all the time and they're very down-to-earth people and I have access to them is a huge thing for me too.